So hello and welcome to lessons 11 of our study of mathematical biology 1. So this is going to be a very short video. So we are going to talk about the qualitative solution of the SIRS model without demographic effects. And um, we talked about the main model in our previous lesson, that's lesson 10. So we'll just try to find the fixed point. Okay. So recall from lesson 10 that we had these three equations. So let's call this equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. So now finding the fixed points. You now to find fixed points, we put the S D T to zero the i dt to 0 and the r dt to 0. So we put all the derivatives to 0. So when we do that, we are going to have these three equations. So this from putting the r, uh, s dt to 0, the i dt to 0, the r dt to 0. Then we know that when we do the scaling, so s at t plus i at t plus r at t is equal to n, dividing through by n. Right, we get something like this. And we let small s at t represent this. Small i at t represent this. Small r at t represent this. And n over n is 1. So that means s plus i plus r equals 1. So this is equation 4. We are going to use these four equations to find the fixed point, okay? And note that we always have two types of fixed points. We have the disease-free fixed point. That is when the I component is zero. And we have the endemic fixed point, okay? So that's the main objective of this video, to find the two fixed points. So from equation two, this equation two, we have beta S I minus gamma I equals zero. We can bring I out. And we have beta S minus gamma equals zero, right? So this means I is zero or the whole of this is zero. Then this, we can make as a subject. So when you make as a subject, we get this. So it means I is zero or S is equal to gamma over beta. So we put this into equation three. So you should know what equation three is. We are making reference for all of this. So putting I equals zero into equation three, we get gamma times zero equals minus sigma r equals zero. Then we get zero minus sigma r equals zero, sigma r equals zero, and r is what zero. That's when we divide through by the sigma. Okay, so that means r is zero. So now we know i is zero, r is zero, so we have to find a corresponding value for x. So now we put i equals 0 and r equals 0 into equation 4 to find x. So equation 4, we have x plus i plus r equals 1. So s will be equals 1 minus i minus r, which will give us 1. Right? So that means our first fixed point is s star i star r star equals 1, 0, 0. And you can see the i component is 0. So there's a fixed point we call the non-disease phase point or non-disease equilibrium point or stationary point okay then now finding the second phase point that's the endemic fixed point so when we first found i here we had i to be this or s to be this so we now put this x into the equations to get the corresponding value for i and r so putting s equals gamma over beta into equation one we have this minus beta gamma over beta i plus sigma r so this will cancel this then we'll get minus gamma i plus sigma r equals zero right but we know that s plus i plus r equals one so making r the subject we will get r will be equal to one minus s minus i let me put that one here. That gives us this.
right but we know that s is also given by what this that's what we had it to be so we make that substitution here so we multiply our sigma through this and we get minus gamma i plus sigma minus gamma sigma over beta minus sigma i all right so we want to make i the subject so that means we can send the terms containing i to one side and the other terms to another side so that is what we did we send the terms containing i to the right hand side and the rest are the left hand side so we can factorize i out here and we have this then we are finding for i so we divide through by what gamma plus sigma that gives us i to be this All right then when we simplify this this here is the same as this so this becomes our i so now we have s we have i let's find for what r so we know that s plus i plus r equals what this and r will be 1 minus s minus i so that means we since we have s and i we can find for r so we put that here so this is s this is i and solving that will give us this to be our r all right so we now have s i so s star i star r star to be equal to this and this is what we call the endemic fixed point the endemic fixed point okay so after having this we can decide to discuss the stability of the system by forming our jacobian matrix and evaluating them at our two fixed points and discussing their stability but the main focus of this video was to get a fixed point right so if you want to proceed you can do that so that will be all for lesson 11 and um, thank you very much for watching and i wish you all the best